Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my uh, Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It's the morning of day 39. And I'm getting another advanced forge going in here. Uh, I got everything sorted last night, which is nice. Um, so we got all our parts for making stuff in here, building materials and a variety of other stuff in here. Actually, let's pull that out because I think I'm going to need that in a second. Uh, and then we've got all the dyes and stuff going on in here. I'll leave that there. We need two of these and we need this because we are going to be making the last class we need, which is the hunter class. Get that done and out of the way with. Now, uh, up here we've got all of our weapons and armor and ammo and stuff for now. And then in here we've got all the stuff we want to sell. And then this is our food stuff. And this is our uh, medical supplies currently. So let's get this down. There's been zombies here all friggin' night. We'll put you down. Cool. And let's get our blank class paper and craft that. Because it really is just a hunter that we need now. I think everything else is done, right? Security's done. Scientist is done. Scavenger's done. Mechanic. Um... Yeah, it's just a hunter class that we need to go out, go after now, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, what do we got in here? There's 200. That's all I can make, eh? 200, eh? Well, that should be plenty. That's 200 blocks for the uh, old base. We should be able to fill in all the holes with that. Uh, I think I'm going to go repair that today to make sure it's up and running. Now, almost all of our coil stuff is done here. Uh, that should finish up today. So let's put these in here. And we should be able to make a half decent... Um, half decent coil rif rifle and... Um, so coil carbine is 61. The shotgun should be 71, I think, shouldn't it? That's the pistol. Shotgun. Oh, it is 61. Okay, that's fine. We don't have the... Um, the uh, advanced workbench to be able to make better ones so and I'm slowly making concrete blocks here I got the concrete moving last night so we've got another 3200 coming so we got plenty of concrete now to be able to build our new base it's not gonna happen before the new, before the next horde night but it will happen eventually so what do we got here we've got 400 and something there uh, another 300 and almost 400 there and then another whatever. So we got over a thousand, which is true, which should be plenty. Nothing going on in there. We still got some cement going. We're out of stone pretty much. Got a thousand left. And there's the rest of the steel. Yeah, man, the locals. So we got a bit of steel here too. Where steel production is actually coming along okay. We got some iron left, but I want to hang on to that just in case we need it for now. Actually I can take that out. Put you in there. I'm not gonna worry about selling or buying anything today. I don't know when the traders restock, but uh, we'll worry about that later. So let's go down and deal with the locals. And then um, what we can do is perhaps go over to the refinery. Oops, maybe I should melee them with something that I can actually do some damage with. Like this. Go away. You ain't got nothing, you hear me? Yeah, that's why she's attacking the base, right? She's like... We can't hurt him, but we can destroy his base. What the heck? Well, that was weird. I haven't had one of those in a long time. So we had one point left over last night, or one skill point to spend last night. Get this guy here. So I went ahead and spent that in, uh, if we have a look here, uh, is it action skills? No. Yeah, it is. I spent it in health nut to get our health up. Because if we're going to be crossing the wasteland, probably with just hazmat gear and no armor, then we're going to want to make sure our health is as high as it po can possibly be. So that's why I went ahead and did that. Okay, let's go 
over to clunky oil. Well, it's not really clunky oil, but where are you? Are you inside here? Oh, hey, buddy. There's one more, isn't there? Yeah, there you are. There you are. Oh, two more. Oh, I was going to give him a groin shot, but he dropped just in time to, to miss it. All right, let's go over to the uh, refinery. And this is tier four. Hey, okay. hello. Uh, that's not bad. You can sell that. Right, I don't know what to expect here. It's been a while since I've been to the refinery. Let's clear these guys up. You know, you think at warrior difficult. I should probably turn this up to uh, insane. Just so that these guys are a bit more of a challenge during the day. But then I mean we're not even in, we're not even into titanium spears yet, so we're not even maxing out our, our potential damage that we could be doing. I don't want to go in there just yet, that's why I'm killing her that way. That would have been the work room for a look at them, they're still coming. Hey giggles. Another one. The worst part about this is as soon as I get in there too. They are gonna keep coming from over there. Because I'll be loading in another area of the map where these guys will spawn. And they'll start coming in. Two crowbars, eh? Alright, well. Seems pretty quiet now. Let's drop all the stuff that we don't need in there. Should find out shortly if we uh, got a horde coming. Don't see anybody down there. Where are we looking? Up there somewhere. Yeah, they've done a nice job with this refinery. I mean, it looked okay before. Actually, is this empty? Probably not. Oh, it is. Well, that's interesting. Like it was okay before, but now it's actually pretty cool looking. So I guess I have to go through that door. Or do I? Out. You can get creative here and do it this way. Once I kill this... Uh, is he inside there? He's inside there. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Heard somebody else creeping over here. Oh, is that a guy? Nope. I don't want to drop down there unless I know I have a way out. Oh, doge. Spider zombie. Sounds like a fair bit. Oh, hey, buddy. Did you drop down? Oh, that you took that one right in the face. I think he dropped down from above. They don't like me being on the fence. Hey, lady. Oops. They don't like me being on this fence. I don't blame them. They don't like me cheating. I like me cheating though. It's technically not cheating. If you can get up and walk along it, it's technically not cheating. I could just burn that guy with a Molotov. Come on, wake up people. You've got shit to do. Can I hit you? I can. You. There we go. Oh, hey buddy. 140, huh? Not really. This guy's jumping over the fence. How come he can jump over? Well, I guess we're going up. Uh, we better pull out. Nah, let's just use the spear. So that's that guy. Is that that guy down there? 
Oh, he, it is, and he's just caught. That's why. Let me help you out. Wow, he's pretty tough. Three shots. Oh, he's got a thousand hit points. There you go. Oh, I missed. Didn't miss that one. Or that one. I'll probably miss the next one. Because he's regenning. All that way for nothing, huh? Hey, Mo. How's it going, buddy? Really not too good. Didn't feel so well down there. Now, there used to be stuff in these. Oil shell. And trash. Yeah, I mean, I kind of get the idea of putting oil shell in there. I mean, technically, you're supposed to be grabbing oil out of these, but... Alrighty. Nothing there. Fucking, there's going to be birds up here. I know it. Alright, well... Don't hear any flapping. Or is it a zombie nightmare? I gotta go up and walk across, so... Oh man, I don't know. I wonder if the, uh, the Yeti fell off of here. I don't think he did. Well, I can't go up there without this out. Reloaded. Let's, uh, have a drink first. Yep. Okay. Yeah, man, fair play to you. That's kind of nice. I don't know who would stash a courier satchel up here. Some crazy fuck. Now I'm missing the oh shit, oh shit drops. You can just bail out of there. Look at you. We need some more rifle practice. We need lots more rifle practice, apparently. There we go. At least she's got a bag for us on the way down. Alright, let's get down here. I think we're gonna try and make... Oh, okay, there's a hole over there I just saw. Into the building there. Which I think we can jump from here across. Alright, a little bit of stuff. Oh, for crying out loud, I can't even jump up that. Hold still. There you go. There you go, moron. Oh, it's because the ladder's right there. It's getting me stuck. Uh, up there, eh? Hmm. Okay, well, I don't like... that. If I need to get out of here, I want to get out of here fast. Let's take this, uh... Oh, for crying out loud. Really? Why do I think that's going to collapse? Now, I don't know if we're supposed to be coming up from down here. If that's the... No. Because where's the main loot then? Oh, hey. Can we see... Oh, he's coming running. And right here. Hold still. Whoops. So you need. Oh, that, that that's not a. Uh, I was gonna say if that would if that was open, or you could you need grenades, just toss a grenade in there, wake that fucker up. But uh, apparently. Not needed. Now, there's the loot room. With a dude in it. How do we get to that? So these guys ran up here with no problem. These shouldn't collapse. Yeah, see, we're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. 
Come on, buddy. All that way for that, huh? All right, so we're supposed to go up and around. And I guess we go out here. Not a lot there, eh? Still nothing, even if I break it. So maybe we're supposed to drop down here? I guess so. Is there nothing up on the roof? Probably not. We were up above. We didn't see anything. Nothing to salvage up here. So I guess we do technically drop down here. Um, so that's lock. Is there a way into it? Whoa! Calm your horses. Well, you're pretty tough, but you uh, can't do much if you can't get out. Oof. What you got for me, though? A pair of wire tools, huh? Up here doing some wiring, were you? I don't know why I'm creeping. What were you doing? Sneaking. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. Story of my life. Alright, that goes in. For a bag of trash. Oh boy, I'm glad I came up here for that. Oh, okay, we'll take the pages. So we're not getting a hoard tonight. That's a bonus. Damn, man, I feel guilty for not leaving to go to, uh... Ah, oh, go to the wasteland. I was I was thinking about going, and then I'm like, I don't know. I'm right, just gonna break in here, cause fuck it. I left my um my uh, crowbar at home. I don't use it very often, and we're already at a point with steel tools that you don't really need it anymore. Oh, where does this go? Oh, okay. I'll just close that. We're reloaded, right? Oh, wrong weapon. Come on, buddy. I ain't got time to be fucking around with you. Steel shovel. Not as good as what we have, though. Alright, well. That was fun. I mean, not all that difficult, but still fun. I guess if I had gone the right way, it probably would have been a little tougher. And if I decided to not use my weapon. Okay, that's locked. We can pick that. It's not bad. I should have cranked up my, uh, my looter skill. Oh, there's a wrench that we need. Battle axe. Uh, it would have been nice to get a hammer, but uh, let's just pick this. So another strike against the crowbar at this point. Ooh, that's not bad. We'll scrap that. Scrap that. That's actually better armor than I think what we're wearing. Oh wait, no, we're wearing 60 chest, aren't we? Yeah, 60 chest. So another scratch against the uh, crowbar is... So I can do about 300 with a power attack with this. Crowbar is about the same with a regular. But I don't lose stamina by using the this thing. If I keep power attacking here... I can go for a fair bit before losing a lot of stamina, whereas the crowbar, like it just burns through your stamina. Oh, well, my stamina, anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's the only reason why there's no point in carrying it anymore. The only thing that's drawing my stamina now is this thing, the wrench. Um, uh, might as well take that. Mechanical parts. We got lots of mechanical parts, so let's go see what's down here. There should be a, uh, 
just easy escape route, shouldn't there? Ah, some stuff to sell. More stuff to sell. We're gonna go back home after this, so we're gonna just uh, go ahead and scrap that. Sure, let's take this apart. Nothing in the trash, right? There was nothing there. Let's take that apart. Now this. All right, well, we're back out here. I guess, I don't know how you're supposed to start this one. Like, I guess you're supposed to go in here. But not that it matters. All right, well, we're done here. Let's go back to the house. We'll drop our stuff off. Then we'll head over to uh, drop off the quest. Now, I don't know how far along we are. I'm going to take a look real quick here in a second. I guess I should have left the bike out front. Oh, I got stuff on the bike too, don't I? Storage, I sure do. Let's bring that stuff inside. Now I should check what my uh, my level with um, Bob is here. How what are, how are we doing here? She was uh, Bob. We're at only thirteen. We got a fair ways to go before we can get a mastery book off of him. Let me just put this stuff away and we'll uh, then we'll head over. All right, that looks pretty good. I think we'll just sell all of that. Ah, uh, we got one of these guys. Let's open it and leave it here. Make another steel spear at some point. Ah, uh, we can sell all these. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Got nothing else to sell. Oh, but we do have the book here. So let's see if we can burn through this real quick. So... Recipes. All oh, right, we got to kill animals and stuff with this one, right? I think we got like a make a bow and then. Okay. Hunter, get you up in the hut here. Plant fibers and feathers. Let's just do this real quick. See what we can get done here. So feathers are in here. We've only got a handful. Uh, plant fibers, craft a prim primitive bow and arrows. So let's pull those up for the arrows. We're gonna need to make. Um, I think we gotta kill zombies with the stone or the uh, primitive bow. Let's craft you, and then let's make uh, recipes, sharp rocks. Let's make like. Ooh, I don't know, like 15, I guess. Maybe we're only going to need 30 arrows. I don't know. And then let's make some arrows here. We don't have that much because we got to have to get more feathers. Okay. Take the dyes out. Put them away. Kill any zombie with the bow. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let's go ahead and use this. Just double check here. Using the primitive bow, zero 05. Beautiful. We gotta find some more uh, bird's nests too. I thought there was a couple around here that I didn't uh, pick up, but maybe not. Well, we're gonna go take the back route to Bob. We're gonna go out this way. And then we'll hit up a few bird's nests, make some more uh, arrows. And here's the first candidate. First candidate for a pasting. There we go. We may not even need that many arrows. Uh, let's just make some more just in case. Oh, hey, oh, what do you got for hit points? 300. Well, let's um, whittle you down. Whoops. Yeah, it's my bad. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, we can get concrete out of here. We'll come back and do that. Let's go find us some more zombies. Oh, hazmat guy. What, do the hazmat guys love this place or what? Biker. I don't think he's dead. He is now. 
How are you doing for hit points? 140. Well, let's not try and kill him. Don't aim for the head. That's the secret. Unless you're using the bow. Oh, for fuck's sakes. There we go. That's what, three? Here's number four. Should be able to get him in one more. There we go, and we're out. I saw two more bird's nests back here. Get the fuck out of my way. You too. I'll get that in a second. Here we go. Six more arrows should be enough, right? Right? Okay, buddy. Oh, he has that fiber. One. Ooh, there we go. That's done. Bone knife. Um, hey, Giggles, what's up? Do you see that bow skill? I'm finding more hazmat fiber off random idiots than I am finding it off of... Uh, scrap that. We don't need those. Scrap these. Then I am off these hazmat zombies. They don't, hazmat zombies don't seem to drop it as often as I'd like it to happen. Uh, what am I doing? Bone knife. Right. Uh, right there. And bone knife. Craft. Get that done. Now what? Raw meat? Kill any animal. I guess we can use anything for that, right? Yep, yeah, we can use anything for the animals. Beautiful. Hey, Kenny. Did I get him? I did. I gotta collect the raw meat, so let's go get that. I gotta get, like, further and further away from my bike here. Okay, that's the meat. Um, we gotta gather leather. We got it home. Raw meat. Alright. Um. Let's go to the trader first. I gotta kill animals, so let's try and find them along the way here. Oh, you know what? If we're smart about this, which I'm sometimes smart about things, and I'm usually smart about reloading. We'll turn our light off because I think there's a wolf in here. Oh, it's a dire wolf. Is that all you've got? That's all he's got. Is that all you've got? Apparently. Is that all you've Fighting got? that barbed wire, are you? Well, that's not bad. Take those. We can scrap that. We'll harvest this guy. I thought we need the meat, but you never know. Yeah, we can't get through there, so we'll just hack through it. Now you're radiated. Um, where are you from? Probably from last night. Sorry, lady, but you're in my way. This guy's going to take multiple groin shots. You could use the door guy, but whatever. Alright, so it's two animals down. Well. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Might as well go in here and get the other one. This will be three. I heard footsteps. Oh, there's some right there. Looks like a regular wolf. That's a bit cheap, but I'm taking it. I'll leave the meat, though. Actually, let's leave this out. It doesn't really matter what we kill stuff with. I mean, I guess I could leave the spear out. We just run it down and spear it to death, but whatever. Alright, no, no more animals till we got here. That's fine. Alright, Bobby boy. What you got for me today? You did it. 
Great job. Military. Okay, the helmet we'll take. And we'll take the rad remover because awesomeness. Excellent. Can I see your inventory? So those were actually pretty good... Uh, pretty good rewards there. All this stuff can go. That can go. You can go. You can go. I should have repaired those, but I didn't. Somebody's inside. Did you let somebody in? Oh wait, no, they're out. They're not. They're out back. Oh, I gotta take the die out of that. That can go. That can go. That can go. We need the wrench. We're getting rid of all those. All of that. You can go. You can go. You can go. You can go. So not bad. We're at 44 again. We were at 30 something. Uh, so let's survivor. modify Check you. I get new merchandise daily. Sell these guys. You and you. You don't want that, right? Yeah, we'll just scrap that. I thank you, kind sir. We can modify you. Take the light out. We'll sell it back to him. Do you want this light? Because I don't. Perfect. Now, I think we've checked you already, but I want to double check for stuff here because it's been a while. Yeah, I restocked some 41. Yeah, so no hazmat fiber. It's really all we need. Actually, let's restock on our Molotovs. How many did we use? Three? Let's get those replaced. Oh, we need another job. Um, you got any jobs? Uh, fetch to the north. That's probably the um, driving. No matter what. I'm grateful. We're not going to do that now. I want to finish off this. Uh, plus, we don't have a lot of time. Hey, buddy. All right, let's go find those animals. We need three more. We're going to head... Well, mm, I was going to say we should head back towards the house, but I think we're going to have a better chance finding them just out here. So let's have a quick look around. There's a wolf. One more. Actually, we might be able to get... Uh... Oh yeah, all we need to do is find one more wolf. And then we can get our... Um, our quest... Ooh. No, we'll get this guy next. Might as well grab it for the feathers. We have zero at our current place and we might need them. Yeah, we're short. Okay, let's head back to the house. So I think our next quest is making leather armor, which we can just straight up do in the... Uh, uh, in the sewing table and then I think after that we get a pipe rifle and I think we have to kill zombies and animals with the pipe rifle which is annoying as shiz but I mean could be worse I guess okay let's get in here All right, um, leather, which is in here. Bring that out. So we gotta make a full set of leather armor. Boots, chest, gloves, hood, legs. Beauty. All right, let's put this shiz away. Okay, we're gonna change over our helmet now. Uh, at some point, we're gonna be putting the, where are you here? Take you out. We're going to be putting the, um... Put you away. Take that out. At some point we'll be putting in the, uh, what's it called? Um, the water purifier. For when we're facing tougher zombies like the, uh, the demons. But, um, until that point we don't really need to worry about it. Alright, where are you? Beautiful, that's going to give us another point of armor, which is awesome. How far along are we here? Everything done? Beautiful. There's the pipe rifle. Alright, we got some work to do. Uh, these can just get sold. Not bad, we'll make some coin off that. Uh, 100 rounds, beautiful. 
Okay, so it's just animals and zombies and a ridiculously long re reload time. So let's go. Well, look at you. Stop echeloning. Fuck are you going? Damn it, right over his shoulder. I don't know what this guy's doing, but whatever. Cop that one right in the face. What's up, lady? At least the reload doesn't feel terribly bad. Alright, got anybody else down here? Got this guy. It's the animals that's going to be relatively a little tougher. I did decrease the animal spawn slightly in the wilderness. They're the same in the city, I think. But I decreased them in the wilderness uh, because I was finding for Darkness Falls there was just way too many animals spawning in the wilderness. Um, that plus, I mean, I think he, I think Kane set it to 100 or something. I think I decreased it to 50 or 75 or something. Just to knock it back a little bit. Oh, that's a nice POI to go into. Not doing that today, though. Oh, hello. I don't know how that was a miss. Oh, damn it. I know how that one was a miss. Think of bobbleheads. One more. We got Tex coming up, and he's another bobblehead, too, this guy. Oh, no, it's Kenny. Kenny ain't so bad. Now, we got to worry about wandering hordes, too. A good source of loot, so I'll keep my eye open for them, but... We've got to start worrying about them, too. So we're going to drive around out here a little bit. Ooh, hazmat guy. Straight up kill you with a spear. Nothing. Hoping we find just a bunch of quick chickens here. Something that we can just one-shot. Because I don't think I can one-shot a wolf with this rifle. There's a the chicken. Come on. One down. Chicken heaven. Lock would be envious. Ooh, right at the pooper. Oh, shit, I was reloading. I couldn't get on my bike. That's good to know. If you're reloading, you can't mount your bike. And that's bad for um, the pipe shotgun. Or the pipe rifle. Kind of a cool little structure, eh? I'm liking the new world gen. They've got um, some pretty cool little places like this now that just kind of spawn in the hills. Makes it interesting for putting a base. Kind of reminds me more of Minecraft. You know, where there's always those neat little uh, areas that you can just set up a nice little base in. Minecraft doesn't have hordes. Although I know there's a few mods that add, like, horde-like uh, situations where you get assaulted by zombies. Which are kind of cool. Where did that last one go? He's right here. There you are. Ow! Ah, fuck. I heard him coming up on me. There we go. Done. Now, time for a little payback. All right, so that's it for Hunter. Did we get anything good out of that? Uh, so the Hunter class gives us two skill points in the Huntsman, which is basically just getting resources. It's not bad. Not that we need it because we got a crap ton of food. But it also gives us the ability to stealth attack and do good damage. Right, a little bit more iron. All right, let's head back. I'm going to hit up a few more of these on the way back. I think one of the things I, need, things I need to do in this new base is generate some outer walls. Or at least a secure area that the zombies can't get into because I want to go ahead and do mining at night. Um, but I can't do that if they can actually just kind of wander into the base. So I'll have to set something up. 
I mean, this kind of stuff should have been done like a long time ago, but you know me. I'm farting around. Not really that worried about um, the zombies and stuff. Because they're really not... Like, during the day and night, they're really not in a position... Unless it's a wandering horde to really threaten me. Of course, now that I say that, I'll get ruffle stomped by something. Uh, I think this is just a landscape boulder. Yeah, we get some... So landscape boulders, although you don't get a lot of... Um, a lot of stuff, you get a half decent amount of iron and smattering of other things. So if you're really, like, desperate for lead... I mean, you get a little bit out of this. That's 22 out of that block, you know? If you find enough and hit enough of them. You know, I really don't want to go back to the house until the Wandering Horde has showed up. Because I'm afraid it's going to come when I'm at the house. And then it's going to, like, rip down part of my house. I mean, I guess, I mean, I can put a proper roll-up gate on there, and... I'm really considering now... Like, we could build our horde base here. I just don't think there's enough open area to do it. I think we have to go outside. I mean, maybe we go over to, um... The other thing, too, is we go into here. Like, we could build it right over here, you know? There's plenty of room here. The back fence. It's still close to our base, you know? But, I mean, we I could collapse this whole building and just build it right there. You know? That could be done. I don't really want to do that, but it could certainly be done. I wonder how long it would take to bring that down. Like, you'd have to destroy all the blocks along the bottom, which isn't too hard. Yes, I mean, it wouldn't take that long, I don't think, to bring it down, but now that I'm thinking about it, if we do take it down, most likely it's going to call a screamer, and then we got to clean up all of the stuff that drops, right? And that's going to be all metal, because those are metal walls. So, yeah. And that's going to be like, I don't know how many other Screamers will get called in. So it's probably not a good idea. Alright, we can scrap that. A bit more brass. Uh, let's go ahead and clear some of this out of the way. Because this is the way that we travel to the trader. Now we've already got these guys, I think. Did we, uh... Didn't check that one yet. Another egg, nice. Eh, I want the plastic or the tire? Plastic, because we got lots of tires. Sorry, wheels. Okay, that's probably pretty good, and the watering horde still hasn't shown up yet. Hmm. It's a good source of loot. Let's go, uh, let's go down this way. So now that we've got all of the classes, we can start working on getting some masteries. And like I said, I think scientist has to come first. Two ways to do it. Either we get enough books, which is going to be tough, or we, um, oh, now we got the uh, animals on our radar too, which I find annoying. You should be able to turn that on or off because I don't really like that. Um, what was I saying? Something about something.
Oh yeah, scientist. Scientist mastery first. So if we can get um, enough pages, the only way we can do that, I mean, I mean, I guess we keep looking for uh, level three or tier three quests from the traders, and hopefully they send us to the bookstores. And we can do it multiple times. I mean, that's a possibility. I gotta close that wall up. Oh yeah, what's in here? Oh yeah, a couple boxes. Let's just grab all this stuff real quick. Walls we's here. Not a lot. Take it all. I don't think... I, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, crouch. Pretty sure that rot, that moldy pizza or whatever it is can only be used for antibiotics. Which, weirdly enough, I've never needed to make. You know? Drop whatever gas we have. Do you have extra gas? We have a little bit extra. Just drop that in the bike. We got a tank in a bit. Alright, so what we're going to do is after next horde... So let's go up actually make those coil rifles. Or coil weapons. And hopefully to remember to bring them over to the uh, horde base tomorrow. Actually, I should go back to the old place right now. Oh, I should go back to the old place right now. We should assemble these. Go back to the old place. Open that too. We can get a silencer, don't we? Yeah, that can go in there. If we go back to the old place, I can make coil ammo tonight. Let's go do that, and we can assemble our coil weapons there. Oh, we got enough for another... Uh... Let's just do it right here. Forge steel. Ooh, do I want to hang off into bullet casings? No, I can always get more. Let's get the steel going. Alright, I'm going to dump this stuff in here. We'll bring the stuff to make the weapons with us. So we're going to need like 10 oil, I think it is. I'm going to bring 30 just in case. Um, put you down there so when I drop this stuff in there, it doesn't go in. Put you in there. Sure. Uh, weapons and stuff. 132. We'll take that with us. Actually, we'll take all of that. And this stuff for making ammo. We need the coil stuff for making coil weapons. I'll bring the coil. Let's take that with us because we're going to need it for the horde. Energy cells can stay because we have no use for them yet. I'll take that with me. Ooh, I'll disassemble this. And we'll take the gunpowder and the additional our, uh, stuff with us here. I think we got plenty of shotgun ammo over there. I don't need to take that with me. Come on, man. Oh, we want the coil ammo. Am I forgetting anything? The grenades. Oh, those? All right, guys. So I'm going to end this episode here, but I am going to drive over to our old base. So when we pick things up tomorrow, that's where we'll start. And I'm going to get some weapons made um, while I'm over there. And I'm probably going to retire the, the rifle. I think we're going to rock with the uh, M4 from now on. And we'll save the, uh, the coil carbine for Horde Knights. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... Yeah, so if you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see y'all later.